Chapter 251, Why Did You Hit Me? A couple of minutes later, Lin Kiao quietly walked out. Down in the underground parking, the vehicles which belonged to Yang Jianhua were gone, and only a few fainted soldiers were left there. To avoid being detected by Yang Jianhua, she had restrained her vibe as much as possible. Therefore, the surrounding ordinary zombies didn't sense her, but slowly followed the sense of those soldiers to this area. Lin Kiao left the underground parking and found Yang Jianhua's building through his scent. After that, she swiftly and nimbly climbed up through the external units of the air conditioner. Soon, she easily arrived at the top floor and got into the building from a corridor window. She moved inside along the wall. Around a corner, she looked around and found a door guarded by four or five soldiers. She then turned to look at the stairs. As she had thought, that area was guarded as well. She moved to the door as quietly as an invisible ghost avoiding the few soldiers and standing beside the door. She looked at the closed door before her face. Even though she was as invisible as a ghost, she couldn't move through the door like a ghost. She crossed her arms before her chest, then turned to look at the soldiers by her sides, who were holding flashlights. Then, she put an ear against the door to try and hear the sounds inside. She only heard the sounds of breathing. There were lots of people in the room. But why was none of them talking? Her arms remained crossed as he turned again to look at the few soldiers guarding by the door. Abruptly, she raised both hands and slapped the faces of the two soldiers by her sides, then flashing to an empty area. Eh? Why did you hit me? The two soldiers who each suffered a slap from a Lin Kiao turned to each other and yelled angrily. You hit me first. When did I hit you? Damn. Did you see me hit you? If you didn't hit me. Who did? You're the only one in front of me. Are you an idiot? I'm standing in front of you, but does that mean that I was the one who hit you? You're standing in front of me, so you're the one who hit me, didn't you? The two soldiers started arguing without knowing what exactly had happened while the others all looked at them with confusion. Oi, oi, what happened? Why are you yelling? Be careful, chief might come out to punish you. Another soldier who was carrying a rifle said, the two who were slapped by Lin Kiao pointed at each other and said, someone hit me just now, it must be him, eh, wait a moment, don't you feel weird? The third soldier looked at the two with puzzlement in his eyes, what, you were slapped at the same time, but neither of you saw each other doing it, I kinda feel that you were hit by someone else, what do you mean, yeah, there's no one here but us, right, you're over there. So you can't possibly hit us without letting us see you doing it, right? That makes sense too, but is someone else here with us? Oi, shut up. Why do I feel that you're telling a ghost story? It's spooky. Said a soldier who was a little scared. The others were all speechless. Lin Kiao looked at the scared one and wanted to laugh. It was the post-apocalyptic era, if ghosts existed, all the zombies could be considered as ghosts. In that case, would anyone still be afraid of ghosts? All right, I'm that ghost. This is hilarious while thinking, she quietly moved behind another soldier, then crooked her finger and knocked the back of his head hard twice. Ouch. That soldier shouted out loud and the others immediately turned to look at him. Why are you yelling? Some someone hit my head. Once he said that, the others pointed their flashlight behind him but saw nothing. You the others turned back to him. That soldier looked at the others with fear, and couldn't help but say, there isn't really a ghost is there? The others stared at him silently for a few seconds, then one of them asked, did you lie to us just now? That soldier immediately responded with discontentment, damn you, why would I make that up and lie to you? Weren't you two slapped by someone just now? He looked at the two who were slapped by Lin Kiao who nodded simultaneously. They were slapped by someone indeed. However, they both blamed each other. The group of soldiers fell in silence. All of a sudden, they all shone their flashlights around. After scanning the area for a few times, they found nothing. Then, they all became nervous, quickly gathering together and leaning against each other with their backs toward the door. Crack. Suddenly, the door behind them was opened. The group of soldiers were startled and immediately turned back to look at the door. A man with a flashlight was standing behind the door. He shone the flashlight onto the faces of those soldiers while asking confusedly. What are you doing, car captain? The few soldiers opened their mouth and glanced at each other, 
but none of them said anything more. What could they say? Should they tell their captain that a ghost seemed to be in this place? If they did, their captain might directly throw his flashlight onto their heads. As the group of soldiers minced their words, the captain opened the door, walked out with confusion. Those soldiers immediately went back to their positions and straightened their bodies. Looking ahead, the captain looked at them curiously while walking in the corridor. He looked around, but found nothing abnormal. What were they doing? The captain turned to the soldiers who were guarding the stairs and found that they were confusedly looking at the group of soldiers guarding by the door too. What happened here? He shouted at the soldiers by the stairs. Those soldiers shook their heads, then spread their hands. Then, one of them pointed at the ones by the doors and signaled for the captain to ask them. The captain turned around and looked at the soldiers by the door confusedly as he asked, What on earth were you doing just now? They shook their heads and replied in one voice, Nothing. The captain glanced at them again bewilderedly, then turned and went back into the room before closing the door. He had no idea that earlier on when he opened the door and walked out, an invisible figure had quietly avoided the others and flashed into the room. After the captain walked back into the room and closed the door, the group of soldiers looked at each other and looked around, as if searching for something. The soldiers by the stairs noticed their weird behavior. What are they doing over there? One of them asked, they've been acting strangely since earlier. I think they're looking for something. I don't know, but just now, I think I heard one of them shouting like he got hit. M. I heard that too. Weirdos. Indeed. Chapter 252, Captain. Something is wrong. Lin Kiao, who had sneaked into the flat, gave a start on seeing the people in the living room. There were quite some people in the living room, but not all of them were on the same side. Yang Jianhui wasn't in the living room, because the window of the living room didn't allow people to see the hotel that Lin Feng and his people were staying in. Hence, he was in one of the bedrooms. Lin Qiao turned to look at the bedroom. She had to move for a few steps to see Yang Jianhui, who was standing before the window, carefully observing the hotel through a telescope. Lin Qiao turned back and looked at the two groups of people in the living room. One group was under Yang Jianhui's command, while the other few were silently sitting on the ground, all tied up. The five men who had their limbs tied up sat in a corner, leaning against the wall. Around them, Seven or eight soldiers were pointing guns at them. The five had their heads dropped, so Lin Kiao couldn't see their faces. However, she felt that their scents were a little familiar, as if she had seen them somewhere before. Earlier on, she didn't sense their scents so clearly from the outside. Plus, their scents were mixed together with that of Yang Jianhui's people. But now, as she was in the living room with them, she found their scents somehow familiar. Since these people had been tied up, they must be Yang Jianhui's captives. Lin Qiao considered all of Yang Jianhui's enemies as her friends. Therefore, no matter who they were, she decided to save the five first. However, she was only able to bring two people into her space at one time. Therefore, to save the five men, she needed to enter and exit her space three times. Yang Jianhui's guards might not be able to react after the first two people disappeared, but when the third and fourth people vanished, they would definitely make a move. So, the last person might be shot down directly. Lin Qiao quietly avoided the others in the living room and slowly walked to the five. While wondering if she had seen them before, she tried to figure out a way to send all of them into her space in two moves. She wasn't able to bring a group of people into her space in one time. And now, she found this shortcoming a little troublesome. The invisible Lin Qiao stood in front of the five, resting her head on a palm as she looked around while thinking. When Jun Jun carried Tong Tong, she was able to send both of them into her space at one time. So, would she be able to send all these five people into her space together if they held hands? Or, maybe she should tie them together with a rope. With these thoughts, Lin Qiao approached the five and glanced at their backs. Surprisingly, she found that their hands were tied up by one rope which meant they were tied into a string. Lin Qiao smiled, as what she was thinking had come true. Without hesitation, she pressed her hands on the shoulders of the two people in the middle, then entered her space. In the next second, the five people who were quietly sitting against the wall suddenly vanished. The seven or eight soldiers who had been staring at the gave a start simultaneously, then couldn't help but raise a hand to rub their eyes, 
and look at the corner again, no one was there, car captain. A less calm one of them shouted tremblingly, what? A level 5 super powered man responded on hearing that, automatically turned back to look at the soldier, captain, something is wrong, yeah, captain, come over and see, the others started talking as well, and their voices were all trembling, filled with disbelief, hearing them, the other people in the living room all turned toward that direction, in the next instant, the few captains immediately discovered the problem, they rushed over, the first captain who responded to these few soldiers grabbed a soldier with each hand and popped his eyes to stare at the empty corner, where did they go, where? he growled, the two soldiers in his hands responded helplessly, we we don't know, they suddenly suddenly disappeared, all the others on the scene fell into silence, fixing their eyes on the area where the five disappeared from, the captain who went outside earlier on now wore a dark face as he said, did anyone sneak in, the others looked at him confusedly, someone sneaked in, how, there was no electricity in this flat, but they had lighting facilities, there were a few battery type lamp tubes here, so the living room was well illuminated, the people in the living room weren't blind, so, if anyone had sneaked in, how could they not see him or her, the captain glanced at the others and said, I mean, someone with a superpower, space power or invisibility, at that moment, Yang Jianhua had come out of the bedroom, while handing his telescope to his assistant, he looked at the group of people and said, why are you yelling, what happened, the group of people immediately shut their mouth and moved away to show him the empty corner, seeing that, Yang Jianhua's cold face turned even colder as he asked blandly, where did they go, chief, they disappeared, the captain who was responsible for the captives stood out and replied, Yang Jianhua didn't look at him, but continued looking at the corner, what do you mean by disappearing, I told you to keep an eye on them, yet you let them disappear, he said with a frosty voice, a couple of minutes later, the five suddenly leaned backward as the wall behind their backs disappeared, when they realized what was happening, the world before their eyes had changed, damn, where is this place, Li Zheng raised his head to find that they were no longer in that living room, he then looked at his friends, and saw that they were looking around confusedly as well, a the people over there, I think that's Madam and Wenwin, and Xilu, is that great captain's wife, they looked around and saw Lin Wenwin and the others, who were sitting on a couch, Lin Wenwin, Mrs Lin and Cheng Wang Xiu had all stood up, confusedly looking at the five men who were suddenly thrown into the grass by Lin Kiao, as they came closer to the five, they were shocked, a, hey, that's Li Zheng, Feng Yuming, and the others, yes, and Lei Yao, Fi Chong Lin, and who's that, as Mrs Lin and Lin Wenwin came closer and closer, Li Zheng and his people saw their faces clearly and became excited, Madam, Mrs Lin, we finally found you, and Wenwin, Xilu, you're all here, great, you're all unharmed, perfect, the five excitedly stood up from the ground, ignoring the surrounding environment as they paid all of their attention to Mrs Lin and the others, who were walking toward them, Li Zheng and his people were relatively capable and strong among all who used to be under Li Qiao's command, therefore, they were familiar with Lin Qiao's family, Lin Wenwin and the others all knew Li Zheng and his people, the Lin family people got close enough and found that Li Zheng and his people had their limbs tied together, eh, what happened to you, why are you tied up, hurry, hurry, Wenwin, Wang Xu, untie them, Mrs Lin was surprised at first, then she asked Lin Wenwin and Cheng Wang Xu to untie Li Zheng and his people, chapter 253, this is not real, when Lin Wenwin and Cheng Wang Xu quickly walked up to untie the five, they saw Lin Giao standing behind the group of men, eh, Miss, Lu, where did you find them, asked Lin Wenwin, at that moment, Lin Giao was surprised by the fact that she had actually brought all five of them into her space at one time, so, I just need to tie them up together with a rope, or, will I be able to do it as long as they're connected physically, will it work if they simply hold each other's hands? She thought, hearing Lin Wenwin's words, Li Zheng and the others immediately turned back, as a result, they saw a bald lady in a camouflage suit standing behind them, gazing at them with glowing eyes, with one arm before her chest and the other supporting her chin, seeing her eyes, Lin Zheng and his people all shivered out of fear, then automatically took two steps backward, 
widening their eyes on full alert. Without a doubt, the pair of eyes they saw should belong to a high-level zombie. They saw a pair of zombie eyes, but their limbs were still tied, and they had zero fighting capacity at the moment. Hearing Lin Wenwin's words, Lin Qiao woke up from her thoughts. The reaction made by Li Zheng and his people made her a little unhappy. Why are you staring at me? I'm saving your asses now, yet it seems that you want to kill me with a machete. I don't think that's necessary. Li Zheng and his people were puzzled when she talked. Subconsciously, they thought that they might be wrong. The bald lady might not be a zombie. Otherwise, why was she able to talk? However, on looking at her eyes, they started doubting themselves again. Are you a human? As the captain, Li Zheng managed to stay calm. Judging by the Lin family people reaction, they didn't seem to be afraid of the bald lady. Therefore, he cooled down and asked. Before Lin Qiao responded, Mrs. Lin answered his question while untying him. Ah, you mean her? She's not human she's a zombie. Once Mrs. Lin said that, Li Zheng and his people all turned to look at her their faces showing disbelief. They didn't know if they should doubt themselves or Mrs. Lin. Wait a minute you said she's a what? Seeing the looks in their faces, Lin Wenwin gave a smile and said, that's right, this bald lady isn't a human being. As you've seen, she's a talking zombie. Isn't this magical? Cheng Wang Xu stood aside with Lin Xiaolu. She didn't help to untie the five, as Wai Jingchen and Xia Wenxing were doing it. Soon, Lin Zheng and his people were all untied. While stepping away from Lin Qiao, Li Zheng rubbed his numbed hands and said to Lin Wenwin confusedly, Wenwin, you're not joking, are you? Lin Qiao crossed her arms before her chest as she looked at the five and said, Why? Don't you believe her? Then why did you move away from me? Feng Yuming, who had paused for a while in shock, abruptly grabbed Xiao Wenxing and asked, Brother Xiao, is what she said true? Xia Wenxing had been laughing on the inside, as Li Zheng and his people reacted exactly the same as how he and his teammates did when they first met Lin Qiao. He was glad to see other people get as confused and shocked as he was at that time. He laughed and responded, Yu Ming, look at her eyes. Those eyes can't be fake. No superpowered human beings have that kind of eyes. Only the eyes of zombies can look like that. Hearing that, Feng Yuming was even more confused. So, why are you with a zombie? She she won't eat us, will she? A talking zombie oh my, so scary. While speaking, he hid behind Xia Wenxing with a crying face, who patted on his shoulder and said smilingly, what to be afraid of? Have you seen us being nervous at all? As she said, she just saved you. On the other side, Mrs. Lin suddenly joined the conversation. What happened to you? Why were you tied up? Where were you before you were brought in? Lin Qiao's space was constantly illuminated, even during night time. The dim light in the space allowed the people to see things. Hearing Mrs. Lin's question, Li Zheng now noticed that no lights existed in this place. Madam, where is this place? It was all dark just now, but why is it seeming to be daytime here? While speaking, he had a chance to think. Abruptly, he changed his words and asked another question. Is this a space? A space of someone with a superpower? Mrs. Lin smilingly nodded and replied, You're right, this is her space. While speaking, Mrs. Lin pointed at Lin Qiao. The others gaped their mouths with surprise. Such a huge space. Lin Qiao looked at them with a smile while saying, What? Aren't you afraid of me anymore? Li Zheng and his people were still on alert against Lin Qiao. But at this moment, they weren't afraid of her anymore, maybe because the Lin family people acted very calmly when facing her, and she looked rather friendly and nice. We have no hostility against you, neither do we want to attack you, said Lei Yao. Lin Qiao looked at the five men, having a familiar feeling again. She couldn't help but ask, have we met somewhere before? Your scents are so familiar. Hearing her words. Li Zheng and his people all thought of dogs. We don't know you. Maybe you've mixed us up with some other people? Feng Yuming hid behind Xia Wenxing and yelled at Lin Qiao. He even had doubts about his entire life right now. He was looking at a zombie, a real zombie. This zombie was able to talk and was clean, wearing clothes like his friends and himself. Moreover, their zombie had saved them. The zombie had such a huge space and there were some other people in her space, and those people were just whom he and his people had been looking for. This must be an illusion. Illusion. With these thoughts, 
Feng Yuming suddenly closed his eyes and murmured to himself, it's an illusion it must be I saw illusion this isn't real. Watching him, Xiao Wenxing wanted to laugh. Are you stupid? He slapped Feng Yuming on the back of his head and said, open your eyes and see if this is real. Do you need me to give you a few punches so you can figure out if this is real or not? Feng Yuming immediately shook his head to refuse, no, no I believed that this is real, I believe it. He had a superpower, but regarding combat skills, he often got tortured by Xia Wenxing. Have you done catching up? If you're done, go over there and sit down, said Lin Qiao. While speaking, she pointed at the couch where the Lin family people were sitting on just now. Then, she said to Lin Wendwin, Wendwin, get them some water from the lake. Remember, three cups of water for them each will be enough. And, the food here is safe, so get them something to eat. I'll go out to check the situation. Yeah, Lin Wenwin nodded without thinking as Lin Kiao called her name. Having finished talking, Lin Kiao turned and left the space while Li Zheng and his people continued to talk with the Lin family people. Some of them still felt that they were in a dream. Chapter 254, You're Amazing, as Lin Kiao left, Li Zheng and his people finally relaxed. They still couldn't believe what they had just seen, so they began asking questions to the Lin family people. Is she really a zombie? How can that be possible? How can a zombie talk? Besides, she looks as smart as we are. If all zombies became like her in the future, it would be horrible. She's not like normal zombies said Mrs. Lin, she doesn't eat human beings, or hurt any. There were quite some people in Lin Giao's space at the moment. Kulilai had brought in a couple of sets of couches, which were enough for these people to sit down. The only inconvenience was that these couches were a little far away from each other. How did she rescue you? asked Cheng Wang Xu, and, why were you tied up? We met Yang Jianhui yesterday, said Li Zheng. He didn't say anything to us and just captured us. Only Lin Yu escaped. Mrs. Lin widened her eyes with surprise and asked, How did you encounter him? And, where are the rest of your teammates? Only Lin Yu escaped. Li Zheng's face darkened as he nodded at Mrs. Lin, then lowered his eyes and said, We left our base about a month ago and came here. On our journey to Sea City Base, the others died, and we're the only one who survived. In Sea City Base, we heard that our base was destroyed, and that you managed to escape. That's why we came out with a squad sent out by Chief Purple Thunder of Sea City Base to find you. We spent half a mouth out here, searching for you. However, instead of you, we met Yang Jianhua and this is the result, said Lei Yao. Lin Wenwin found five cups and poured the five some water. Is this a friend from Sea City Base? She pointed at the stranger among the five then asked. That man politely nodded and replied, good to meet you my name is Huang Ming. Then, Huang Ming pointed at the few armed vehicles before the forest that the others hadn't noticed, and asked, those cars, did she bring them in here? Mrs. Lin and the others turned to glance at the cars, then turned back and responded carelessly, ah, she threw those in earlier. This is her space, so who else can put things in here? Outside. Lin Giao saw Yang Jianhua sitting on a couch with his head lowered, elbows on his knees, and fingers crossed to support his forehead. Very good. There are so many of you, yet you let someone sneak in and rescue all of them you're amazing. The others in the living room weren't able to see his face, but hearing his voice, they all sensed a sharp coldness rising in their hearts and bodies. The air temperature in the room dropped drastically and everyone on the scene understood that their boss was being mad. Suddenly, a layer of ice emerged under Yang Jianhua's feet, then quickly reached toward the group of soldiers who were responsible for guarding Li Zheng and his people. The few panicked soldiers attempted to draw back, but only managed to make half a step before they were frozen from the feet to the heads. Within a blink, they turned into ice statues standing in the room. Seeing those ice statues, the others didn't dare to move or even breathe. Some of them already had cold sweat oozing out of their skins. Lin Giao stood in an empty corner. The nighttime temperature was about 10 degrees lower than the daytime temperature, so the night should be pleasantly cool. However, standing in this living room right now, Lin Giao felt a little cold. At that moment, Yang Jianhu unclasped his hands and said, the enemy is powerful, 
such that even I felt nothing. He then stood up and slowly walked toward the ice statues. But, since you can't even guard the captives well, why would I let you live? While speaking, he raised a hand to knock the nearest ice statues. In the next second, a slight cracking noise was heard from the ice statues, and soon, the noises grew louder and louder, quicker and quicker. Then, following a series of clattering noise, the ice statues shattered and fell into pieces, but no blood splashed out. Yang Jianhua's face wore no expression, and his eyes were especially cold. He walked to the other ice statues and knocked them one after another. As he turned around, a loud wave of clattering noises was heard. I was going to stimulate Lin Feng with those captives so that he and his people will panic and show some weaknesses. However, you've ruined my plan. The others in the living room gazed at the piles of ice pieces, stunned. None of them dared to make any sound. Lin Giao stood behind those people and sensed some of their thoughts. So cold-blooded apostrophe. Why didn't I know that this is Yang Jianhua's true face before? Damn, if you didn't have my families, I'd never come out and hunt great captain for you. With surprise. Lin Qiao found out that these people weren't following Yang Jianhua willingly. It turned out that Yang Jianhua had threatened these soldiers with their families. Not only were those ordinary soldiers thinking that way, even the few level 5 superpowered ones also had similar thoughts. Damn, why was Chief so nice to this bastard? She was trying to protect him the whole time, yet he's just a scum. You trash. What are we to you? You kill our people when you want to and you treat us like dogs. Lin Qiao looked at Yang Jianhua. She honestly didn't remember anything about him. He had hurt her, but why wasn't she feeling anything when facing him? According to what Lin Qiao had learned by now, Yang Jianhua had schemed against her years ago because of Lin Wenduin. Later on, he pretended to save her, after which, he stayed around her as her lifesaver. While he was pursuing Lin Wenduin, Lin Qiao built a base with her great power. As Lin Qiao's base was established, Yang Jianhua joined hands with a man called Long something to attack her, and then forcibly occupied the base. He planned to kill two birds with one stone, and reap where he hadn't sown. Yang Jianhua's handsome face was now showing a cold and vicious look. The pretty face had failed to neutralize his evil vibe. If he had his pinkies up, he would look like a shemal. I wasn't captivated by his good look before. Was I? Lin Qiao asked herself silently. Yang Jianhua walked back. But instead of sitting back into the couch, he walked toward the bedroom that he was in before. His assistant followed in and handed him the telescope. He took over the telescope and put it before his eyes while saying, Never mind. They're rescued, but that's fine. Since we can't threaten them with the captives, we can only launch a surprise attack. After taking a few glances at the hotel, he put down the telescope then walked out of the bedroom and said to his people, we'll leave now prepare for an attack, we're launching a night raid, while speaking, he walked toward the door ahead of the others, as Yang Jianhua jumped into action, Lin Qiao immediately approached a level 5 captain, then reached out a hand to grab him, in the next instant, the man disappeared, chapter 255, I don't want to scare you, Lin Qiao dragged that man slightly forward, then made him disappear. Once she entered her space, she directly inserted her claw into this man's skull and twisted her wrist. This man felt like he was being dragged suddenly, then his eyes were dizzled. Before he realized what happened, he suffered a sharp pain from his head, after which, he fell asleep forever. Just now, he was calling the few soldiers who had been turned into ice pieces by Yang Jianhua useless in his head. Because of those soldiers, his position in Yang Jianhua's heart was lowered largely. If Yang Jianhua didn't kill those soldiers, he would kill them himself. He had no idea that because of these thoughts he had, Lin Qiao decided to kill him first. Since he had had a murderous intention toward his soldiers, he would certainly push them out to hold off zombies and buy himself time in the future. As Lin Xiaolu was in her space, Lin Qiao chose to kill that man by the forest. In addition to that, she made the killing quick and neat and didn't cause any noise. After digging out that man's energy nucleus, she carried the body and flashed out of her space. Outside, Yang Jianhua hadn't noticed that one of his soldiers was missing. Abruptly, he heard a thud, and that made him turn back to find a body on the ground. He knew he hadn't killed that man. What's this? 
his face darkened immediately, and a sharp coldness began radiating from his body. Because of that, the people around him couldn't help but draw back. The others all looked at him with confusion. Chief he just disappeared for a few seconds, then became like this, someone said. Yang Jianhua gazed at the dead man who was lying face down. His head was cut open, but except for that, his body was intact. Come out. You've quietly killed a level 5 superpowered man within a few seconds, so I assume you're not too afraid to show your face. Or, are you afraid of me? Yang Jianhua raised his head and glanced around the others, then said with a frosty voice, I'm afraid that I might scare you. Lin Giao stood behind him and said in a bland tone. The people in the living room immediately turned back and pointed their guns behind Yang Jianhua. They saw a bald person with a pair of sunglasses standing behind Yang Jianhua. No one knew when did she show up. Yang Jianhua maintained a perfect composure. He calmly turned back then found that the person behind him was only at half a meter away, he detected Lin Kiao once her vibe emerged, he turned her head to look at her so calmly and unhurriedly because he didn't sense any intention of killing from her, of course, if Lin Kiao made a move once she showed up, Yang Jianhua would be able to sense it and dodge it, the first thing Yang Jianhua saw when he turned around wasn't Lin Kiao's bald head, but her chest, he saw a bald lady with big breasts, Decup at least. Her waist was slim, and legs were long, she was about 5 feet and 8 inches tall. He moved his eyes upward and saw her slender neck. Her skin was snow white, seeming to be glowing with a faint white light. She had a delicate chin, and an oval face. Even though her eyes were covered by a pair of sunglasses, her nose, lips, chin, and face shape still told Yang Jian whether she was a pretty lady. Even her hairless head was round and cute. Lin Kiao looked at Yang Jian with disdain because she had clearly sensed his thoughts. At the moment, he was actually rating her appearance. He's a lecture, as I thought, Lin Kiao concluded. After measuring Lin Kiao with his eyes, Yang Jian abruptly gave a smile and said, I thought I'd be scared by an ugly creature. What? Do you think you can scare me with your bald head? Lin Kiao didn't say a word to him, but slightly lowered her head and took off her sunglasses. After that, she raised her eyes to look at him. Yang Jianhua was curious about how her eyes looked like. However, when he saw those cold, purely black eyes of her, he was seriously startled, such that he even forgot to utter a sound. He paused for two seconds then took a few steps backward as he pointed at Lin Kiao and said, you're not human. As Yang Jianhua drew back, the others on the scene all clearly saw Lin Kiao's weird black eyes. As same as Yang Jianhua, they all automatically stepped backward. Bang! Someone overreacted and shot Lin Kiao. When the gunshot was heard, Lin Kiao raised a hand and grasped the bullet then spread her fingers, ting, the bullet fell on the ceramic tile and caused a silvery sound, Lin Giao didn't turn back to look at the soldier who shot her, but released a faint wisp of dark mist from her palm and let it drift toward the soldier, then, she looked at Yang Jianhua and said, you're right, don't you know that this area is my territory, you've been here for quite long, and my tolerance is limited, I didn't want to hurt you, but I think you're aiming at my praise, that I can't tolerate. Yang Jianhua hadn't processed all this yet. He popped his eyes to stare at Lin Kiao as he asked with disbelief, Are you really a zombie? He heard Lin Kiao's words clearly. She mentioned territory and praise. So, was this area the territory of this talking zombie? By praise. Did she mean Lin Feng and his people? After all, Yang Jianhua was going to attack Lin Feng and his people. Your praise do you mean Lin Feng and his people? Lin Kiao nodded. While wiping her sunglasses with a corner of her shirt, she slowly lowered her head to look at the sunglasses and said, Or whom? You? If you want to send yourself into my mouth, I won't mind. As for the ones I'm targeting, I won't give them to anyone else. I've let you stay here for so long, and I've shown you enough respect. Suddenly, Yang Jianhua calmed down. This female zombie was so smart, and was able to talk. In addition to that, she was able to come and go like a ghost. All these meant that she was at least a zombie queen. She was very likely a second grade zombie queen. At the moment, she hadn't shown any hostility to Yang Jianhua, so the latter believed that he still had a chance to persuade the former to not hurt him and his people. He swallowed his saliva, then said, We I mean, 
we haven't been here for long, we've only been here for two days, and that's not a long time, besides, we didn't know that you were hunting Lin Feng and his people, now that we know, we'll give up for sure, you can do whatever you want, we won't interfere, he knew he might be facing a level 7 zombie, also known as a second grade zombie queen, so, he had no choice but to throw in the sponge, he didn't dare to overestimate himself and risk his life by challenging a second grade zombie queen, after all, he couldn't even win against a level 6 zombie queen, however, he had no idea that he was fooled by Lin Kiao, chapter 256, I failed, Lin Kiao detected Yang Jianhui's thoughts from his expression, apart from that, she had also sensed some of his mental activity as she was pretty close to him at the moment. Based on these, Lin Kiao knew that he had believed her words completely. Isn't two days a long time? How do you define a long time then? You don't look like a good man. Are my praise your enemies? She said. While speaking, she walked toward the group of man and raised her head to sniff at them while showing an expression of intoxication. It did smell good the sense of living human beings. Seeing the look on Lin Kiao's face, Yang Jianhua and his people surely understood her meaning, she was seeing them as food. However, no one saw the wisp of dark mist that Lin Kiao released earlier drill into the soldier's ear, after which, the soldier froze, his eyes dimmed, and pupils expanded. Thud. People turned to the source of this noise and saw another dead body on the floor. The head of that body was disappearing. These people glanced at each other, then carefully turned to Lin Kiao. That dead soldier had just shot her. Lin Kiao nodded and said frankly, yeah, this man attacked me just now. For the ones who attack me, of course, I'll eat them. While speaking, she looked at those people in the eyes. As she had expected, those people lowered their heads to avoid making eye contact, or stepped backward with fear, worrying that Lin Kiao might fix her eyes on them. Then, Lin Kiao looked at Yang Jianhui in the eyes and said, You haven't answered my question yet. Do you think I have lots of time to chat with you? Being stared at by her, Yang Jianhui felt a coldness from his entire body. He came back to his senses and responded, A, hey, not exactly enemies. It's just they betrayed our base and escaped. To prevent them from leaking the secrets about our base, I want to bring them all back to the base or kill them. Lin Kiao sneered at him and said, you think I know nothing about the things happening out there? Those people ran all the way here from the Hades base in the south. Many of them might have died or got injured in the journey. As for Hades base, I know it was attacked and broken by other bases. Now, I guess it's either destroyed or under new ownership. Hearing Lin Kiao's words, a thin layer of sweat oozed out of Yang Jianhua's forehead. He smiled and said, Hey, I didn't know that you cared about this stuff. Yeah, they're from Hades base. They escaped, no big deal. Said Lin Kiao, they're just the remnants of a defeated army. All right, you can go now. Do you need me to give you a lift? When finishing her speech, she glanced at the door and slightly turned her finger. Following her move, a stream of black mist was released toward a few soldiers who were loyal to Yang Jianhu. I the few soldiers saw the dark mist that Lin Kiao released. However, before they could react, the thin streams of mist flew at them and disappeared before their eyes. After that, they all suffered a great pain from their ears and brains. Before long, they fell to the ground, without being able to even utter a scream. After watching these soldiers fall, the rest of the people found that the one who was killed by the dark mist earlier now only had his feet remaining, the rest of his body was gone. All right, we'll leave now. Yang Jianhua walked outside right away, and the others followed behind him. Lin Kiao remained standing, watching the few corpses on the ground slowly disappear. As Yang Jianhua left, she sighed with relief. Damn, I've performed a great show. She said to herself, she was going to get some useful information from Yang Jianhua, yet that sneaky man didn't let her. Lin Kiao understood that if she ever started a fight against Yang Jianhua, merely his eyes would give her a hard time. With a sullen look in her eyes, she watched her dark mist cover the few piles of ice pieces. The mist had lingered on the ice pieces for quite a while, yet the ice melted very slowly. Right at that moment, she suddenly sensed a sharp coldness from behind her. She swiftly turned and nimbly flipped toward the wall nearby. Next, 
she thrust her legs against the wall and leapt onto the guardrail before the window of the living room. As she turned around, she saw that the door which Yang Jianhua and his people walked out of before was covered in a thick layer of ice. A frosty mist had been releasing from the ice. You almost got me. You're not a zombie. Yang Jianhua's cold voice was heard from the door. Following the voice, he walked in from behind the door. His charming eyes were filled with coldness, squinting at Lin Giao who was by the window. Lin Giao chuckled and said, well, I failed. She leapt off the guardrail, looked at Yang Jianhua and said, you've seen through me, yet you pretended to believe me. I see that you have lots of free time. Yang Jianhua smiled faintly and responded, I was just trying to find out what purpose do you have. Unexpectedly, you only wanted me to go. If you're really a zombie. How would you let us go just like that? While speaking, he suddenly raised an arm and swung at Lin Kiao. A wave of ice swords emerged from the air, flying at Lin Kiao swiftly while covering a wide area. Lin Kiao jumped out of the window, then stepped on the windowsill and climbed up to the roof. Puff, puff, puff. Most of the ice swords stuck on the windowsill and window frame while some flew out of the window and fell to the ground. Yang Jianhua flashed out of the window as well. As he waved a hand, an ice staircase reached up to the roof from the window. He stepped on the ice stairs, leaping toward the roof. It was all dark on the roof. Lin Giao stood on a corner as she said to Yang Jianhua, as you refuse to just leave, don't regret. Before Yang Jianhua's ice reached under her feet through the floor, she leapt upward and disappeared. Following a series of cracking noise, the roof was frozen by Yang Jianhua. If Lin Kiao hadn't leapt up, she would have been frozen as well. After Lin Kiao vanished, Yang Jianhua stood on the edge of the roof and looked around. Then, he closed his eyes to try to sense her, but detected not even a trace of her vibe. After opening his eyes, he suddenly moved sideways and raised an arm to release a strong wave of icy mist toward where he was standing. A hazy figure flashed across that area, leaving a large cloud of black mist that was frozen in the air. Crack crack. The ice which froze the mist fell to the ground and shattered into pieces. Chapter 257, Great Imagination The invisible Lin Kiao looked at Yang Jianhua from a corner and couldn't help but sigh. Her attack was ineffective on him as he was very sensitive. She had no choice but to wait and see. Meanwhile, Yang Jianhua was staring at the black ice pieces which were melting slowly. His ice was unexpectedly melted by the strange mist. The mist seemed to be highly corrosive. Was the zombie-eyed super-powered lady a possessor of poisonous mist? Defending against such kind of super-powered people wasn't an easy thing. However, it wasn't really difficult for Yang Jianhua. He glanced around, then laughed with a cold voice. I don't know who you are but you seem to be on Lin Feng's side. You're sent here as a spearhead, which means you've discovered us. Lin Feng and his people aren't going to leave the hotel, are they? Lin Kiao didn't show her face, but quietly stood beside him, looking at him. Yang Jianhua paused slightly. As Lin Kiao didn't show up, he continued, I know you're here. Weren't you captured by the level 6 zombie? The zombie crowds 500 meters away around your hotel so you can't leave even if you want to. Besides, I noticed that some of you have gone on a mission. I guess they were eaten one after another, weren't they? Eh? This man really has a great imagination. He actually thinks that way. Lin Kiao looked at him and wanted to laugh. Based on what Yang Jianhua said, Lin Kiao guessed that he did arrive here two days ago. After spending two days observing Lin Feng and his people, he found that Du Yu Anxing, Du Yu Anxianting, and the others weren't in the hotel. Added with the fact that he was attacked by Kulili before, he actually thought that those absent people were eaten by Kulili. The zombie crowd had blocked every entrance of the hotel, and Yang Jianhua thought that they were preventing Lin Feng and his people from getting out. So imaginative. Lin Kiao thought. But then, she thought from another angle and felt that it was reasonable for the people who didn't know the truth to think that way. Kulili often walked about on the roof and disappeared frequently. Indeed, she was a little like a master herder who was keeping an eye on her herd. So, this is the result of his observation from the past two days. Lin Giao squatted on the guardrail while Yang Jianhua was still talking to her. What? Don't you dare to come out. I know that you're still here. You showed up earlier 
So what happened to you now? Right at that moment, a soldier who was covered in wounds shambled upstairs. He got close to the group of squad leaders who were standing by the stairs and said a few words to them. Next thing, those squad leaders had their expressions changed dramatically. Chief, our vehicles are missing. One squad leader turned to Yang Jianhua and yelled at him. Yang Jianhua immediately turned his head to look at them sending a frosty vibe straight to their faces. He narrowed his eyes, then slowly approached them. What did you say? The group of squad leader instantly stepped aside and let the soldier face Yang Jianhua. The soldier was covered in bleeding wounds, which were caused by claws and teeth. He breathed quickly and weakly as he said, We we got knocked out suddenly when we woke up, the vehicles were all gone. We were surrounded by zombies. Hearing his words and seeing his wounds and pale face, the others knew that this soldier was going to die soon. You were bitten by zombies, said Yang Jianhua. Before the others figured out his meaning, that soldier was frozen into an ice statue. Yang Jianhua turned around to glance at the empty roof, then said with a dark face, So, this was your purpose. Lin Qiao raised her brows, then quietly leaned backward and fell off the roof. When she returned to the hotel, Lin Feng and the other three were waiting in the room, seeing her. They immediately stood up from their seats. How's it going? Is it really Yang Jianhua? Lin Qiao glanced at them and responded. He's coming here soon. I'll bring you into my space to hide, also to let you meet some people. While speaking, she walked up and dragged Lin Feng and Lin Hao into the space. Once in, they saw a group of people sitting on couches, chatting. Lin Qiao left the two of them in her space then flashed out and brought Long Kinying and Xidong in. After that, she saw Lin Feng and Li Zheng staring at each other. Li Zheng, you why are you here? Seeing Li Zheng, Feng Yuming, Lei Yao, and Fi Chonglin, Lin Feng could scarcely believe his eyes. Great captain, thank god you're okay. Li Zheng and his people looked at Lin Feng excitedly. Mrs. Lin chuckled and said, I've told you that we're all fine. But your team you're the only ones left. Lin Qiao glanced around for a few times, but didn't see Liu Jun and Tong Tong. She used her sensations and found that they were hiding in the small space. They were hiding in there the whole time, so Mrs. Lin and the others didn't know that they were there, neither did they notice that small space. Mom why are they here? Lin Feng asked in shock. Why are you asking me? Mrs. Lin responded smilingly, shouldn't you be asking Miss Lu about that? Reminded by Mrs. Lin, Lin Feng turned back to ask Lin Qiao. However, Lin Qiao wasn't there. He looked around and only saw Long Kinying walking toward him, as well as Xidong heading to the lakeside. Eh? Where did she go? He murmured. Great captain, said Li Zheng, come here and sit down. I'll tell you what happened. Then, he pointed at Huang Ming and continued, This is Captain Huang Ming, under the command of Deputy Chief Xiao from Sea City Base. Lin Feng didn't know that someone from Sea City Base was here, so he looked at Huang Ming with surprise. The latter smilingly waved a hand and said shyly, Ah, just call me Huang Ming. Don't mention the captain thing. Lin Feng nodded, and the look in his face turned less serious. With a faint smile, he said, you and Li Zheng are both at level 5. It's normal for you to be a captain in a base. No need to be humble. Afterward, some of them sat down on the couches and some remained standing. We met Yang Jianhua two days ago, said Li Zheng. He captured us without saying anything, then brought us here. He proudly told us a lot about Chief and our base. Speaking of that, Li Zheng and his people all wore a sullen look. Lin Feng could roughly guess what Yang Jianhua had said to them and knew that he wouldn't want to hear those words. They tied us up and brought us to this area. Earlier on, at the top floor of a residential building, we were sitting against a wall and being guarded. However, someone dragged us suddenly and we got in here. Chapter 258, Walking Corpses Are Afraid of Sunlight. Hearing him, Lin Feng could guess what had happened. It wasn't the first time for the zombie lady to steal people away, but this time, he had to admit that the zombie lady had done a great job. Yeah, they were all tied up when they first came here, said Mrs. Lin. We didn't know what happened. Is Miss Lu really a zombie? Asked Li Zheng. Why did she save us? She didn't know us. You didn't know that we were captured by Yang Jianhua, did you? Yeah, I'm curious about that too, 
said Mrs. Lin. Lin Feng looked around and asked, Eh, where is she? She threw us here, but where did she go? Lin Giao had sensed that they were looking for her since long ago. So, she came out of the small space, then walked over. Are you looking for me? The group of people turned to her and saw the bald lady wearing a pair of sunglasses. If she didn't have such huge breasts, they wouldn't be able to tell if she were a man or a woman. Lin Feng looked at where she came from and saw the entrance of the small space, getting distracted immediately. Eh? Hey? You don't have another space over there, do you? Lin Qiao nodded and responded, yeah, what's the problem? Lin Feng had never heard about any space within another space before. He shook his head, then said to Lin Qiao, nothing. Um we just want to know why you decided to save Li Zheng and his people once you saw them. Do you know that they know us? Lin Qiao shook her head and said, I don't, I just thought that Yang Ji and Hu's enemies should be our friends. So, in order to make trouble for him, I saved these people. I didn't know that you knew each other. Hearing her, Lin Feng turned back to say to Li Zheng, Do you know that Tan Xing and a few others went to see City Base? They went to find you, also to look for some helpers. However, you were captured by Yang Jianhua. We left C City Base half a month ago, said Li Zheng. So, even if we didn't run into Yang Jianhua the scum, Deputy Chief wouldn't have found us. Lin Feng nodded and replied, that's true. But, why weren't you in the base? What did you come out for? Ah, I'll answer that question for them, said Mrs. Lin. They came out to find us. They didn't know our route, so they went to the city nearby. They searched for half a month but didn't find us. Instead, they met Yang Jianhua and his troops. Lin Feng sighed while saying, then, we have to wait for Tan Xing to come back. How many people do you have in your team by now? After saying that, he turned to Li Zheng again. The latter lowered his head with depression as he sighed and replied, except for the four of us, Lin Yu is also alive. We don't know if he returned to sea city base or if he's surviving out here alone. When Yang Jianhua found us, he wasn't there. He might have hidden somewhere, so Yang Jianhua didn't see him. Lin Yu he doesn't have a power, does he? Lin Feng thought for a moment, then asked with uncertainty, I remember that you're the only ones in your team who have powers. You had over 20 people, but now you are the only ones left. M, that's him, said Li Zheng. The others have all died. We tried our best, but there were too many zombies during the journey. We also encountered a zombie leader. The others gave up their own lives to create a chance of survival for us. Li Zheng's voice turned lower and lower, and his eyes dropped slowly. Feng Yuming and the other two all wore the same sad look. As the atmosphere was getting sorrowful, Lin Feng made eye contact with the others, then hurriedly changed the topic. Ah, I almost forgot to introduce Miss Lu to you. Do you know who she is yet? Li Zheng raised his head to look at Lin Qiao, who was standing aside and watching them. He nodded and said, yeah, she's a zombie, although I don't really believe that. Lin Qiao bared her teeth toward him and asked, do you need me to bite you? Looking at her four sharp canine teeth, Li Zheng asked her, aren't you a walking corpse? What's the difference between a zombie and a walking corpse? Asked Feng Yuming, hearing which. The others all turned to him. Of course, they're different. Someone said. How? Feng Yuming was confused. Walking corpses eh? Well walking corpses. The group of people suddenly found it a little hard to point out the specific differences. Walking corpses carried Tamain, so the people who got bitten by them would turn into walking dead too. On the other hand, the zombies carried the virus, so the people got bitten by them would become zombies as well. They sounded really similar. Silly. Walking corpses are afraid of the sun, and zombies aren't. Zombies eat human flesh and chew human bones, but have you heard any walking corpse do the same? Eh, I mean, are you nuts? Is a walking corpse a real thing? Have you ever seen one? said Lin Qiao. The others couldn't think of a word to say. Looking at Lin Qiao who just called him silly, Feng Yuming sneakily poked Lei Yao, who was beside him, and said with a low voice, why do I feel that she sounds like our chief? If chief were here, she'd certainly say the same to me. Lei Yao glanced at him, then at Lin Qiao. He blinked, but didn't say anything. Lin Qiao glanced at the group of people, then continued, you're really into this topic. Don't you want to know what Yang Jianhua is doing right now? Hearing that, 
The people turned to her immediately, we surely do. How did he react when you brought Li Zheng and the others away? Asked Lin Feng. He turned seven or eight guards into ice statues, then shattered them into ice pieces, said Lin Giao blandly. What? Mrs. Lin popped her eyes and said, he killed them just like that? Those were his own people. How could he be so cruel? Cheng Wang Xu joined the conversation. Mom, he's just too good at pretending. He was never a good guy. He was planning to attack you tonight, said Lin Kiao, and he was going to threaten you with these few people. But, I've saved them and ruined his plan. While speaking, she turned to Li Zheng and his people. So despicable said Mrs. Lin with a cold face. Cheng Wang Xu gave a sigh and said, All right, Mom, you've learned what kind of man he really is. Someone will punish that scum. He thought that you were kept in the hotel by Lili as her food, and he believes that you aren't Tang Xing and the others have already been eaten, added Lin Kiao. Lin Feng and the others were surprised on hearing her, while Li Zheng and his people were confused. Who's Lili? Does this Lili eat people? Is she a zombie too? wondered Li Zheng. Seeing the confused look on Li Zheng's face, Lin Hao, who had been staying silent till now, began talking, yes, just like what you thought. Li Lai is a zombie, a zombie queen, and she can eat people. The others just didn't know how to respond to that. Chapter 259 Ling Ling is having a fever. Lin Feng looked at her and asked, then what? I tried fighting him, but couldn't win. So I came back. Let me see while speaking. Lin Kiao closed her eyes to sense the outside situation. She saw that Yang Jianhui was already in the hotel. He seemed to be really mad, maybe because he had found that Lin Feng and the others had all disappeared. From the first floor to the sixth floor, the hotel had been turned into a cold storage. Lin Kiao opened her eyes and said, it's very cold out there now. The group of people looked at her confusedly and didn't manage to understand her meaning immediately. It was the middle of the night, so it was surely a little cold. After the apocalypse, the nights had always been cold, and they had gotten used to that since long ago. Lin Giao sensed their thoughts, so she shrugged and said, I mean, Yang Jianhua froze a part of the hotel. I think he has found the solar equipment, and is preparing to take it away. Hearing that. Lin Feng slapped his thigh and said, Ah, damn, the scum is gonna get the solar equipment. Mr. Lin looked at Lin Kiao and said to her, What? We can't let him take the solar equipment away. Miss Lu, can you bring the solar equipment in here? Lin Kiao shook her head and said, It's installed on the floor, and hasn't been dismantled. It's connected with the roof, so I can't get it in here unless it's taken apart from the building. Why don't we let them disassemble the equipment? You can steal it after that, said Lin Hao. Hearing that, the others puzzled at first, then turned to Lin Giao with surprise. Lin Giao gave Lin Hao a thumbs up, then said, smart. Even I didn't think of that. Cheng Wang Xu had been looking around for quite a while, and she finally couldn't help but ask. I didn't see you bring Jun Jun and Tong Tong in. Where are they? Lin Giao glanced at her, then turned around and pointed at the small space behind her. Lin Xia Lu was sitting on the couch, feeling a little bored. Hearing her mother mention Tong Tong's name, she immediately looked at Cheng Wang Xu and asked, Mom, can I go play with Tong Tong? She was really bored. The conversation between those adults made her sleepy, yet her mother wouldn't let her sleep. Cheng Wang Xu looked at Xia Lu then turned to Lin Kiao, who nodded and said, sure, it's all right, she can sleep there if she's tired, there's bed. When Lin Kiao's space expanded, the small space moved to the edge. The bed didn't move along with it, but was left outside. Later on, Jun Jun carried it back into the small space. Therefore, every time when Lin Kiao sent Jun Jun and Tong Tong into her space, she would directly put them into the small space. Cheng Wang Xu nodded, then stood up and walked toward the small space with Lin Xia Lu. Lin Giao then looked at the others and said, I'll go out and take a look first. Then, she disappeared. Is she really a zombie? At what level? She's so smart, and she can talk. So, is she a zombie queen? Li Zheng asked Lin Feng. Lin Feng shook his head and responded, We don't know about her level either. But, one of her friends is a zombie queen. Feng Yuming and the others immediately popped their eyes. They automatically scanned around with their eyes, then said, 
is a zombie queen here? Where? They were talking about a zombie queen, a rarely seen legendary creature. Li Zheng and his people were all curious about the zombie queen. They really wanted to know what she looked like, as they had only heard about zombie kings and queens before. Lin Feng shook his head with a faint smile while saying, don't look around. She's not here. She went out a couple of days ago. Otherwise, Yang Jianhui wouldn't dare to get close to us openly. If she were here, that scum might not even have the courage to approach us. Hearing that the zombie queen wasn't here, Li Zheng and his people all show disappointment in their eyes. What's a level 6 zombie like? Asked Feng Yuming. Does she have three heads and six arms? Is she powerful? Mrs. Lin smiled as she answered his question. She doesn't have three heads and six arms. As for if she's powerful, well, at least, Yang Jianhui is no match for her. But, we don't know if she can defeat a level 7 super-powered human. Lin Wenwin showed up with a large plate of mutant strawberries. She was going to wash them in the lake. While passing by, she said, she's a pretty little girl, but doesn't like spending time with others. While speaking, she walked toward the lakeside. At that moment, Lin Qiao had already climbed up to the roof of the hotel. She stood aside, watching Yang Jianhua and his people take down the solar equipment. They actually found solar equipment what a surprise. Yang Jianhua said the word surprise, yet he was still wearing a sullen look. On the other side, Wu Cheng Ayu returned to see city base with his daughter and the injured Meng Yue. Once they arrived at the base, the little one started to have a fever. Wu Cheng Ayu hurriedly sent her and Meng Yue to see the doctor. As Wu Yuling was the little princess of Sea City Base, the doctors nervously ran all sorts of checkups on her. Then, a problem occurred. The problem was that no doctor or device was able to tell why the little princess was having a fever. At that time, Wu Yuling's mind continued to be clear, even though she was having a fever. She confusedly looked at the doctors who were bustling about around her. When the doctors tried to touch her, she flinched to avoid them, then looked at Wu Cheng Ai with her watery eyes, wishing that her daddy would bring her away. I don't want to be here. Daddy apostrophe. As Wu Yuling was about to cry, Wu Cheng Ai walked to her and held her hands, then squatted by her side and said, Good girl, let the doctors check your body, or, you'll get very uncomfortable. Wu Yuling was shaking her head the whole time. No, no, I'm not sick. Why am I seeing the doctors? Wu Cheng Ayu touched her forehead and found that she was still burning. With concern, she asked, Ling Ling, are you feeling unwell? Wu Yuling shook her head again. Doctor, how is she? Why is Ling Ling's body so hot? Wu Cheng Ayu looked at the doctor beside him and asked, the doctor looked at Wu Yuling with confusion, then responded hesitantly, Ling Ling is healthy. As for the cause of her fever, I've thought of one possibility, but I'm not sure. What cause? Why not sure? Wu Cheng Ayu asked anxiously. The doctor glanced at Wu Yuling, then turned back to Wu Cheng Ayu and said, It seems like her superpower is awakening. But, she's so young so it shouldn't be possible for her to trigger a superpower. Wu Cheng Ayu and the others all looked at this doctor with surprise. Xiao Yunlong couldn't help but ask, what a minute, how can she possibly trigger a superpower? She doesn't have an energy source inside her body, does she? Chapter 260, No Way to Alleviate. Hearing the words energy source, Wu Cheng Ayu paused slightly then glanced at his daughter. There was a strange energy inside his daughter's body which he had sensed on their way back. The energy inside Ling Ling's body seemed to have started awakening since long ago, and Wu Cheng Ayu felt that it was growing stronger and stronger. Did that energy awake Ling Ling's power in advance? No, Yan Long, haven't you sensed that the energy inside her body is getting stronger and stronger? Xiao Yan Long walked over and held Ling Ling's hands. Then closed his eyes to sense the energy. Eh? Hey? It's true, he said. The doctor frowned and continued, it looks like Ling Ling is going to trigger her superpower. However, she's only five, so triggering a superpower now isn't a good thing for her. Reminded by the doctor, Wu Cheng Ayu's face darkened immediately. He felt that someone had poured a bucket of cold water on his heart. The doctor was right. At present, 
people hadn't figured out a way to help with the fever which would manifest during the awakening of superpowers, the ones who triggered superpowers would have to get through it by themselves with their willpower. Generally speaking, younger people had weaker willpower than the older ones. Therefore, among the young people who had started to trigger their superpowers, the failure rate was relatively high. Only the ones with strong minds could successfully awake their superpowers. Wu Chengyu anxiously looked at the doctor and said, Doctor, do you know how to stop the awakening of Ling Ling's power? She won't make it if she starts triggering her power now. The doctor knitted his brows and said helplessly, Currently, we don't have any effective way to stop the awakening of superpowers. The main source of the energy which will trigger the superpower is transformed from a tiny amount of zombie virus. The virus slowly becomes the energy that can be absorbed by human body. When the energy accumulates to a certain degree, it will explode and then trigger the superpower. Chief, you brought Ling Ling out this time. I just want to know if you've encountered any special situations out there. Wu Cheng Ayu and Xiao Yunlong glanced at each other. Ling Ling was kidnapped by a zombie king, but then, she was saved by someone else. As for what happened during that period of time, we don't know, said Wu Cheng Ayu. The doctor pushed his glasses upward, then looked at the number showing on the screen of the device beside him, while thinking. He frowned slightly and said, last month, her health examination data was normal. No change should have happened to her within a year. So, I guess it's something that happened during your journey caused the awakening of her power. So, what should we do now? Said Xiao Yunlong anxiously, you have to find out a way to stop it. If it continues, she'll fall into a coma. What can we do if that happens? She's so young, she won't get through it. The doctor raised his head to look at Xiao Yunlong, then turned to Wu Cheng Ayu. After that, he sighed and said, I am sorry, we don't know how to stop it, doctor. Xiao Yunlong nearly lost his mind. He popped his eyes and stepped up, attempting to grab the doctor and ask him for help again. Wu Cheng Ayu stopped him while staring at the doctor and said, Doctor, is there really no way? We can do whatever you want. The doctor was a little anxious too. No, I mean, we really don't know what to do. Currently, there are no results regarding how to suppress the zombie virus at all. Therefore, we can't do anything to interfere with the superpower awakening process which is caused by the zombie virus after transformation. Wu Cheng Ayu stared straight at the doctor, looking more and more gloomy. He understood that the current medical research hadn't been making any progress regarding the zombie virus. Therefore, People weren't able to stop the ones who got bitten by zombies from turning into zombies, nor fix the awakening of superpowers. However, he couldn't just give up on his daughter. Doctor, just think, is there really no way? As long as you stop the awakening of her power, Ling Ling will be safe, isn't that right? Xiao Yunlong said to the doctor, seeming like an ant on a hot pan. The doctor helplessly shook his head and said, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. We don't know what to do. Wu Cheng Ayu opened his mouth. He wanted to say something, but couldn't. At that moment, Wu Yu Ling leapt off the bed and pulled Wu Cheng Ayu's trouser leg. Wu Cheng Ayu lowered his head to look at Wu Yu Ling, then squatted and embraced her. Ling Ling, don't be afraid. Daddy won't let anything happen to you. Leaving the consultation room, Wu Cheng Ayu carried Ling Ling and came downstairs with Xiao Yunlong in the lobby of the hospital. They saw a few people coming from the outside. That's Chief Wu, he's back. Yang Feineng, who had escorted you Aunt An Xing and the others to the hospital, looked at Wu Cheng Ayu and Xiao Yunlong with surprise. With a smile, she walked to Wu Cheng Ayu and said, Hey, isn't this Chief Wu and our little princess? When did you come back? Why are you here? Are you feeling unwell? Wu Cheng Ayu was feeling depressed. However, facing the pretty lady's warm smile, he still gave a faint smile and responded, Deputy Chief Yan, good to see you. Yan Feina looked at him, then turned around to point at you Aunt Anxing and the others as she said, Great. Here, let me introduce you. This is Deputy Chief Yu An from Hades Base. Then, she pointed at Wu Cheng Ayu and said to you Aunt Anxing, who had walked to her side, this is Chief Purple Thunder, the man you were looking for. Yu Aunt Anxing reached out a hand toward Wu Cheng Ayu and said, Hi, I finally get to meet you in person. Wu Cheng Ayu put Wu Yuling into Xiao Yuanlong's arms, then shook hands with Yu Aunt Anxing and said, 
Nice to meet you, you aunt Anxing looked at him, then turned to Xi Ao Yunlong and Wu Yuling. Abruptly, he said, is this our little princess? She's adorable. But, you don't look so well. Is anything wrong? Yan Fainu nodded and said with concern, yeah, you look upset since we first saw you. Did you suffer a great loss out there this time? You aunt Anxing now looked at Wu Yuling and continued, I guess our little princess isn't feeling well. Her face is red. Did she catch a cold? Is she having a fever? Wu Chengai Wu turned to his daughter and hurriedly touched her face. He found that her face was already burning, and her face had turned red. Her bright eyes now seemed to be unfocused. He let out a long sigh, then said, Ling Ling is her power is awakening. We don't know how to stop it. We don't know what to do now. Yan Fei widened her beautiful eyes and slightly opened her mouth as she murmured, What? No way. She's so young. How can that happen? Wu Cheng Wu's eyes wore a sad look. She's such a little kid. How can her power suddenly awake? Did you encounter something out there? Asked you Aunt Dancing abruptly. He thought for a moment then suddenly dragged Xiao Yunlong toward an empty corner while saying, come here. In that quiet and empty corner, he turned to say to Du Yuanxing who had been ignored the whole time, Yuanxing, give the kid some of the water in the bottle see if it can help. 